In the song Mercy, we sing, I'm alive to tell the story of how I've overcome. It's his goodness and mercy and the power of the blood. To me, those lyrics mean that um, no matter what you've done, that, that Jesus' love can reach you and that it can redeem you through anything. And that it's, it's a, um, an amazing thing that he, he's allowed us to overcome and that it's only through his blood that we, we are able to, to enter into his love and into his kingdom. And that's why we go to these places and sing. The whole point of choir tour for me um, to understand is that we are God's hands and feet. And we got to use our voices to glorify God, but also bless people who really need, really need to hear God's message and His love. And to me, that's just really beautiful. One of the most impactful moments for me on choir tour was when we were singing at Rescue the Children and we were singing uh, Total Praise. And during that moment, like I was looking out at the audience and I could just see how much they needed help in that moment. There were so many people struggling with many different situations that seemed very hopeless. And it just felt really powerful to me because I could feel the Holy Spirit's presence in that room. And while we were singing Total Praise, it really felt like a moment of praise between my peers and I and those people in the room who needed hope for that situation and I think that song just really blessed them. So we went to a lot of uh, retirement homes and we went to a women's shelter and a few schools on choir tour um, and I would say the ones that I felt that us as a choir had blessed the people there the most were the retirement homes. Um, you couldn't always tell with the people in the audience if they were enjoying it or not, but when you could, it was so impactful. You had people singing along and lifting their hands and praising. Um, and I don't know, it, it just, it seemed like even if they couldn't like respond to what they were hearing, that they got it and they, they were there and they could hear us singing. So those were my favorite um, places to sing on choir tour. My favorite parts about choir tour involved the the experiences we had as a class and getting to know my uh, roommates a lot more and on a more personal level and all the places we sang at, especially the veterans home, I found that to be really impactful and just to be thankful that I had the opportunity to go and sing there and it was really fun to be able to go sing for all those people, especially at the veterans home for the people who uh, fought for us and I found that to be just a really a real blessing that I was able to do that. So this was my first year in choir and doing anything like this and so I was really excited for tour to be able to sing and praise Jesus to like a bunch of different groups of people um, and as like someone who has never done anything like this before I absolutely loved the experience. Knowing all the people we were going to sing to, being able to share that experience with people who I knew was really impactful for me and there were times where I'd actually like start tearing up because I like the feelings and like the meanings of what we were singing like hit me, not just like thinking about the audience, but like even myself, I know how it was, effect it was affecting me. So, and then knowing that I was having that effect probably on the people like we were singing to, to our audience, uh, just was really wonderful to be able to experience. My favorite memory from choir tour is um, probably doing the, the choir workshop at APU. Uh, we got to go to Azusa and work with their choir director there and um, it was just an awesome experience for our choir. He did all these weird exercises that got us to think about how he actually sing instead of just having us sing. Um, and it was just a, a great time and he, he was a really cool uh, person to get to work with. My favorite place that I visited was the last retirement home that we went to. And it was really powerful because we all sang our hearts out and we really just tried to glorify God. But even though these people cannot always, they weren't always mobile. Um, I talked to this one woman and she couldn't talk much, but she said I liked our singing and I was really thankful for that. And I hope that we bless them even though they can't do much anymore. I really like seeing You Are My Refuge especially for like the veterans home um, because it was challenging but it was so pretty and it really reminded those people that like God is their strength even when their strength is failing and 
I just think that was a beautiful moment and the reactions were like amazing and I just really liked that about that. I rescued the children. We were able to sit down with um, the people there and have lunch with them. And one person that I sat down with, um, they commented and said, um, don't lose your smile because I really like your smile. Um, and that was like, oh, thank you. <laughs> and then another time, someone said that I really like your face and watching you sing. That was really encouraging for me to hear because this is all new to me. I'm just coming here with a bunch of more experienced people, so all I can really do is try. And it gave me a lot of reassurement that the point of singing isn't about how good you sound or like the technical stuff necessarily, but it's more just about what you're singing and who you're singing for. At Rescue the Children, we all prayed for someone in the audience and that made me realize how important it is for us to go to these places and sing for people um, and bless their day even though they're going through some of the hardest things that I can never imagine. I really feel like most of the kids in the choir class connected with a lot of people at Rescue the Children. There was crying and hugging and I remember one of my classmates hugging another woman and she was just like crying and she was just so thankful that we prayed for them and just spoke for them. My favorite song is Total Praise or um, The Fear of the Lord, which I do think we sang on choir tour because um, they're such loud songs that we get to sing like from our insides out and praise God and it's one of my favorite things ever to do. Um, another one of my favorite songs was You Are My Refuge. Um, that is the probably the hardest song that we sing just because everyone gets a little nervous at the acapella part, but Mr. Kerr decided that we would surround um, the people who we sang with and being able to fill the whole room with that sound was like kind of otherworldly. It was such an interesting experience to be able to get so close to the people who we were singing and he just sprung that up on us too. He didn't even tell us he was going to do it but I thought that that really elevated the song and elevated the meaning of the song being that God is our refuge and like kind of having that protection while we sang it so that was really cool. Well then we all went to Disneyland too which is a huge plus. There was a lot of fun and funny memories on tour but Probably my favorite was just the bus rides because our chaperones were hilarious and me and my friend who I was sitting next to would just like burst out laughing at pretty much everything they said. So that was also very fun. My most silly memory was at Disneyland. We went on a water ride four times in a row and I made some new friends that day, had some bonding because we were all soaking wet by the end of it and it was very fun. Um, I think one of my favorite memories from choir tour was uh, walking back from Disneyland with just some of my friends and we were just singing a cappella on the streets as we were walking back at night and we we're just having fun doing it and people on the streets were looking at us weirdly like what are they doing, what are they singing, but it was still a lot of fun and I liked growing closer to the people in my class and I made a lot of long lasting memories. I'm so thankful that I was able to go on choir tour and just minister to these people and get outside of my comfort zone and really show them the love of Jesus.